Hi guys, Midwest Outdoorsman here with another video. I uh, haven't made one in a while, sorry about that. Uh, I've been doing a lot of hunting and stuff, so I've been uh, pretty busy. Um, but uh, more about that later, I guess. Um, I just wanted to uh, share just a quick tip, uh, something that I've done that uh, I thought maybe some other people would want to know about, or maybe some people maybe all oh, go, oh, I never thought of that. Well, you know, that, that works pretty good. Uh, something that's kind of helped me out. Um, well, here these are my Danner Pronghorn boots I've uh, previously reviewed. Uh, these are my favorite boots so far. I'm going to get into them here. I'll show you why in a second. And uh, as with a lot of these hunting boots, you know, they got nice laces and they go up quite a bit. Uh, and these, I think, are the 8 inch models. Um, you know, you can get boots, you know, a little bit shorter or some longer. But uh, these are what I like. Um, but one problem I have with them is uh, okay, you, you can tie your boots and even like that, you know, that's fine. But then when you go through brush and stuff, even if you double double tie them just like that, um, you have a lot of problems with, uh, you know, especially if you go through raspberry bushes, that kind of stuff. You have a lot of problems with them uh, coming out. And I'm going to constantly have to, you know, untie them. And um, I've tried tying the knots in all different ways. And no matter what I do, um, it doesn't seem to work. So I figured something out that really works well and it's pretty cheap and simple. Um, you know, you can buy, uh, like, ankle gaiters and that kind of thing, and they're really pretty expensive. Um, and I figured out you can just take, this is just a cotton crew sock, all right? Cut the end off of it, okay? Cheap. Probably got some old ones laying around, okay? And then what you do is you just put it on over your regular sock. I usually wear wool socks, but I got the other, just another pair of cotton socks on for this. Um, and then you put it up above put it up above your shoe like that roll it up and then you uh, take your shoe put your shoe on your boot or whatever lace her up because I do a lot of deer drives in Wisconsin and stuff and uh, there's tons of you know popple thickets and raspberry bushes and stuff and I that's why I've also reviewed those Cabela's Borhide uh, shields um, for your uh, for your legs, it really helps save your legs, but uh, this is a great combination with that. So now you got this, right? Take your sock and unroll it down over the top of your boot laces like that. And it uh, looks kind of weird, some people might think, but you know what? It works. Um, so you've got, not only do you have, uh, you know, your shoelaces are protected, uh, I've gone through the thickest brush, the thickest raspberry thickets, um, anything you can name, and this stuff has never come up on me. I've never had any problems with it. I have not had to retie my shoe one time since I've been using this. And then, obviously, you can just take your outer layer and then put it down. And, uh, you know, can't even tell or whatever. I don't know if you're really worried about looks. But anyways, just a quick thing that uh, really works. Plus, another benefit that you might not think of is, um, see, I have the... Uh, the uh, the narrower part of the crew sock up here on my calf muscle, and uh, you know it's pretty tight. I mean it's not overly tight, but one thing that is a little bit of a benefit, just like if any of you that uh, wear Under Armour, where they talk about compression, where you know it, it helps to compress your muscles into uh, and support them a little bit. So you know, and if you're putting on a lot of miles and you're doing a lot of walking or something, and I think it does help a little bit um, to you know because it holds your muscles and it keeps them tight, helps to be a little bit supportive. Um, on your ankles, especially, you know, in line with the boot and everything. Um, I'm not saying it's, like, the best thing ever or whatever, but just, just another added little benefit to this little thing that I've done, uh, which is cheap and, and, and easy to do. And you don't have to go out and spend $100 on a pair of, you know, super high-tech gaiters to, uh, to get it done. And um, you put your pants down, and no one's the wiser if you don't want anyone else to know for whatever reason. Um, and it works really good. So I just wanted to share that with you quick. Uh, and like I said, I haven't had my shoes come untied one time going through the thickest brush all day long, putting on miles and miles and miles of walking. Um, so if you have any questions or anything, uh, go ahead and feel free to comment, and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, I uh, just figured that uh, you'd want to know about that. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.